Gentleman yields back. Chair now recognizes Mr. Moskowitz from Florida for five minutes. Um, Mr. Chairman, thank you, and thank you for holding this an important uh, topic. Um, I replaced uh, Congressman Ted Deutsch uh, in the in Congress uh, in the last election, and he lost he lost his nephew to fentanyl. And I remember I remember when that happened to an accidental fentanyl o overdose. Uh, and I'm happy that the state of Florida has just recently passed the use of fentanyl uh, test strips, uh, because that will obviously help us uh, in this battle. And you know, I'd say to my friends across the aisle, very few that are here, but I, I would say to them that, listen, we, this is a bipartisan effort on going after fentanyl. We, we don't need to be convinced. We don't need to be educated. We know what's happening. We've seen the numbers. We know this is affecting uh, kids uh, across, across the country. But we've heard a lot about the cartel, doctor, and so, and the drug trafficking trade that's going on in Mexico. And so I, I wanna ask you a, a question, doctor. These cartels, these drug traffickers, in addition to the drugs that they're carrying, do you know what else they like to carry? It's not a trick question, just yell it out when you know it. Guns, they like to carry guns, Dr. Gupta. Right? That's what protects the cartel. That's what protects the drug trade. Do you know where they get their guns? Do you know where the cartel, the guys that they're talking about, get their guns? You know where they get their guns? From uh, illicit illegal purchases. That's right. And do you know where those illicit illegal purchases are happening and where, where they're coming from? Largely from the United States. That's right. According to the U.S. Custom and Border, Border, Border Control, 200,000 guns pour over the border every year from the U.S. to Mexico. These weapons are being used to contribute to organized crime. They're being used by the drug trade, the cartel, and 70% of all of the weapons the cartel is using are manufactured in the United States. The drug sales and the cartel and China what they're doing is intentional. I agree with my colleagues across the aisle. I think what the cartel in China is doing is intentional. But so is what the gun manufacturers are doing. It's intentional. And so all of these guns manufactured here, pouring over the border, we, the United States, are arming the cartel. We, the United States, are allowing the cartel to protect the illicit drug trade by allowing guns manufactured here to pour over the border. My colleagues across the aisle are very concerned about things coming in, but they have no concern about weapons going out. And so Mexico, Mexico has even filed lawsuits against the gun manufacturers. In fact, just three days ago, Mexico has asked a U.S. appeals court to reinstate the $10 billion lawsuit that they have against the gun manufacturers. And the lawsuit specifically states, and Mexico contends it's 500,000 guns pouring over the border every year. But in that lawsuit, Mexico says that the lawsuit against the cartels is specifically, uh, against the lawsuit that is against the drug manufacturers is specifically for facilitating the trafficking of, of weapons to the drug cartels, right? So right now, we have a foreign country suing the drug manufacturers, the gun manufacturers, saying that we are arming the cartel, our U.S. companies. And so what's even better than that is the gun manufacturers in this lawsuit are saying they have immunity. They have immunity in this lawsuit because my colleagues across the aisle have provided them immunity, that they can't be sued. Now, we're fighting over whether that applies to a foreign government. That's what the lawsuit really is about. But we're with you on a bipartisan basis to try to stop fentanyl from coming in. But can you be with us on a bipartisan basis that maybe, maybe the gun manufacturers shouldn't have immunity to sell guns, to make sure to have guns get in the hands of the cartel? I understand you're not with us on wanting to prevent that in this country, but maybe together, we can, be, we can do it to make sure that our guns are at least not going to the drug cartels 
facilitating fentanyl from coming in. I, I, I just, I mean, when, when, when are you guys gonna wake up and realize that guns are a part of this equation?